Anambra 2021. APC governorship aspirant grow cold feet as insecurity persists. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you, my people. We know the whole country is facing um, it's a national crisis. The situation is a national crisis. It's not just in the southeast alone. The concerns are all over the country from southwest to south south to southeast. We know southeast states um, that um, was boiling um, or, um, the most recently from Emo states. Hanambra got his own share of attacks as well. We know it was a couple of weeks ago that um, one of the governorship aspirants in um, Anambra state was attacked in his own village, in his own town. He was attacked and um, sadly that incident led to the loss of um, lives of three security, three police officers that were attached to him. He actually escaped death. The plot was to assassinate him. So shocking, very shocking. The, the situation where we live right now is scary. No one is safe. Even governors are governors are not safe right now. Ozodima's house was attacked the other day. And senators are beginning to um, raise alarm that um, they, this is not time to be um, queuing behind Buhari, supporting him. That it's time they, as Buhari supporters, have to speak out. For the forthcoming election, you know, anytime um, talks of election rises, the first concern is that even regarding the 2023 general election, it's like, why are people talking about election when the country is not safe? If the country is not safe, INEC has stated it at one point in time that there are situations or circumstances that will made, make them suspend an election. And this is looking like one of them where there is no peace. We're just hoping and praying to God that before that time comes, peace and normalcy will return. Anyway, as a result of the insecurity rising and then... Um, it looks like uh, President Mohamed Buhari has got no clue, no solution, no way out. The security forces, we don't know what they are doing. Governorship aspirants are beginning to grow cold feet as um, some notable names that we already know that um, they are interested uh, under the platform of the All Progressive Congress, that um, they are definitely going to be running for this Anambra governorship election. Surprisingly, their names uh, were not um, found among the APC governorship candidates. It's interesting to note. I don't know if the case or if the reason might be, you know, at the point, because of the current insecurity, Nigerians have blamed the All Progressive Congress, the ruling party, for its bad leadership. And as a result of that, it looks like that is affecting them in all of um, their different um, state chapters. So for APC, um, even in Anambra states, uh, it's been seen that from the top, Buhari has not done well. So there's no way we're going to be supporting APC candidates. Well, uh, they know what to do. If they do the right thing, uh, uh, we can see that um, change will come. But obviously, it shows that um, President Mohamed Buhari does not want peace. He doesn't want peace in the country. He's supporting criminality, these Fulani headsmen, the attackers and everything. He's supporting all of them. That is why we find ourselves in this situation that we are. And it's only God that will show us mercy. Because these guys, they, in, in, they, they speak with two sides of the mouth. You hear Buhari coming out that time. Um, uh, peace we want one nigeria is what we need uh, uh everyone let everyone work together but they, they can see the, the harm the terror that even just fulani headsmen and boko haram what they are doing to the whole country and buhari has not been able to address that seek for help you are not ready to seek for help the other day a couple of days ago he had a meeting with um u.s uh, um secretary we know that all of those are just lip service because truly, he, deep within, Buhari does not even need assistance. He doesn't want anyone to come to the help of uh, of this country. That's why we are saying that it's just God. It's God we are looking onto. It's God we are trusting right now for help. Let's not lose hope, my people. Change will come. We know because of this insecurity, that's why uh, uh, these agitations have been rising. Yesterday, Odudua um, Republic had a rally in Abi Okuta. Um, these agitations, if things are going well, if Buhari is doing the right thing, I don't think uh, talks of divisions will be coming up. The only reason talks of divisions and separation is coming up is as a result of bad governance. Well, um, we'll find out what is going on in Anambra right now. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. The fire appears to have gone out of the ambition of the All Progressive Congress APC in the race for the Anambra State Government House 
as growing insecurity in the state and the Southeast generally has forced the party's governorship aspirants to doubt its chances in the November 6th election. Despite the declared ambition and commitment of the stakeholders to wrest power from the All Progressive Grand Alliance APGA in the state, during a recent meeting which attracted all the nine aspirants, there had been general concerns that security challenges in Anambra and neighboring states of Imo, Enugu State, might negatively affect APC's performances, and by extension, the candidate that would eventually emerge regardless of his pro-contest popularity. This reasoning appeared to have generally taken a toll on the desire of some of the aspirants to path with a staggering 22.5 million naira to obtain the expression of interest and nomination forms almost one month after the party announced that they were up for sale. A close party source disclosed that the aspirants had been apprehensive. Initially, the fear of some of the aspirants expressed was that of imposition of a candidate or emergence of a consensus candidate after individual aspirants had paid the nomination form. The party had allied that fear, yet, as you can see, they are not coming forward to obtain the nomination form, so something is wrong, the source submitted. As at Friday, April 30th, only one aspirant, Senator Andy Uba, was rumored to have obtained the party's governorship nomination form through a third party. The rest had largely stayed away, sustainably wondering whether the gamble with 22.5 million naira was worth it. At a recent interactive session organized by the Anambra Patriotic Forum, the nine APC aspirants were unanimous in their demand for a free, fair and credible governorship primary, which they said will ensure the party's unity after the primary. Another revelation of the forum was the fact that former Governor of the State and Minister of Labor and Productivity, Senator Chris Ngige, might have rested his governorship ambition after the initial appearance of posters, it appeared Ngige had opted for an elder statesman role as his name was conspicuously missing among the aspirants. Well, this one is a serious situation right now. The insecurity um, is going to affect a lot of things if it's not um, looked into. Even at governorship aspirants, they are afraid. They don't know if the people will vote for them. So the 22.5 million naira is a lot. They are thinking right now if that is worth it. All of this has been brought by the All Progressive Congress, APC, uh, um, their, their leadership, because APC is the ruling party in the country. And I keep saying that um, if APC wants peace, peace will, there will be peace in the country. If President Mohamed Buhari wants peace, there will be peace. But they are not ready for peace. Well, we'll see how all of this plays out. November 6th is not long to go. Guys, thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.